as we approach Destiny 2 Reset tomorrow, we have already gotten the answer to a number of questions we've had in the past about when certain events would be coming in Season of the Lost. Unlike past seasons, we've only had a vague calendar to go on with few actual dates, but recently we've seen the temporary end of the main storyline, the arrival of Grandmaster Strikes and Legendary Shattered Realm. Legendary Astral Alignment drops tomorrow, I believe, which with one extra chest as a reward, I don't believe it's worth doing. But after that? All indications are that the next 7 weeks until the 30th anniversary of NR, MD, barring any surprises. There is simply nothing else on the calendar besides what we will have by tomorrow, GMs and Legendary Seasonal Activity Options. That leaves a large gap of time until December 7th when the 30th anniversary begins with includes a free new 6-man activity and a paid dungeon, so that will be a time we can get back to consuming new content. This is not a huge shock, given that we always knew this was going to be a 6-month long season, and there was going to be some downtime. It also may help explain why Bungie was so eager to nerf Festival of the Lost Farming, so it lasts longer as it's scheduled to run until November 2nd. But so far as we know there is nothing planned for the entire month of November, past your usual Iron Banner and Trials. At least nothing listed on the calendar. I suppose that would be a good moment to debut some sort of secret, but I wouldn't bank on it. This is, of course, fine, and I'm not bringing this up to complain. I don't think that Destiny needs stuff to do every single reset, and of course if you are dying to play, I'm sure there's some activity you could farm to get trolls of some dungeon or raid weapon you're missing, or get some seal you don't have. This is where self-directed goals come into play. November is also a big month for game releases between Call of Duty, Battlefield, and Forza, leading into Halo Infinite which launches practically on top of the anniversary event, annoyingly, and everyone has a backlog of stuff that's already out they've been meaning to get to. Then, this will lead into another stretch of time where we simply don't know what's going to happen. If the 30th anniversary stuff is concentrated into December, and that's when the dawning is too. January and February, leading up to the Witch Queen, February 22nd, will contain moments of triumph and the final story beat of the season. Past that, again, nothing is scheduled that we know about. I do think that somewhere in the course of the six months would be a great time to drop a secret thing, 